TV, House of Bricks Wrestling. I'm Joe Rebello, your host, and you're about to enter the battle zone. We have exciting competitors ready to fight to their fullest potential here at the VFW in Fairhaven, Massachusetts. Stay tuned for exciting action as you enter the battle zone. This week on Turnbuckle TV. House of Bricks Pro Wrestling once again brings you action from Battle Zone. First, it's tag team action as the team of the Terror Tom Billington and the Giant Grasshopper take on Matt Moses and Tim Murray. And in this week's main event, singles action as the wild side Devin Baker takes on Evan Six. Anybody rushing? Playing Double Dragons on the Nintendo. Okay, let's do it. 
Well, we do have a member called Zelda, uh, Zega here. So, Zega, Nintendo. Stranger things have happened. I recall Funky Weapon in New Japan. I, uh, do you remember, do you remember the turtles? They were just showing that on a certain uh, wrestling network the other day. Both of them really? wrestling in the 80s. Yes, in, in, in a particular well-known wrestling promotion. I think that was a one show, wasn't it? I believe it was a one shot when they used to wrestle to World Class, which we can mention. Yep. Or can we? I'm not sure. Plenty of ways to be there, but no. Give me a second. You're in a tag team called the Epidemic. What the heck are you talking about? The Epidemic, the Grasshopper. There we go. Call it infestation. Yes, the Grasshopper. The Terror and the Hopper. They should be classic. <laughs> Now, who's this in the ring with the uh, with the champ? Is is that Moses or Murray? Good <laughs> question. You know, I actually was wondering myself. I have to check my scorecard. You would think somebody would put their name on the back of the tights, so at least we can tell. You mean his name isn't Usa? I'll call him loser number one and loser number two. No, you would not call him loser number one and number two. You call him Murray and Moses. <laughs> All right, Murray Moses number one. In the ring now. Is this a veil contestador? Is that a ball or a bad guy drop on the top of his head? I can't tell. Contact the powers of B and take a look. Well, I gotta check my notes. Alright, I'm just gonna be wrong, but that is Tim Murray. We'll call him the toupee Tim Murray because it looks like a toupee on the top of his head. Yeah. It could be a skunk, I can't tell. Yes. Getting some kind of glare off the top of his head, but it's not a bald spot. Lucha rules, no ropes. <laughs> he's talking him far too closely. I just want to say he's talking him far too closely. So now, according to all our scorecards, we now have the USA phenomenon himself, Matt Moses. Thank you. So I like to call him Eminem. Yes. The leap of the grasshopper, a deadly martial arts technique. Well, he wasn't doing it. If you can take the pebble from his hand, he'll let you go. <laughs> if he's grabbing my pebbles, I ain't, I ain't snatching them. <laughs> right now it looks like a Sherwin Williams truck blew up. Yeah, I've been told that uh, Mr. Moses has some uh, Excellent professional, uh, not only professional, but amateur wrestling skills. Hoping to see him uh, exhibit. As I mentioned earlier, and I mentioned Rex Kwando, I see those pants, and you know, being a, a master of the martial arts, I of course uh, know that devastating art, and no parodies of it are being displayed by those pants. Look at that devastating move by the grasshopper. It's only fair, see, a martial arts challenge. Here we go. The grasshopper chop. The chop from the heavens. The flying grasshopper chop. A deadly technique. It's precise in his shoulder. The other shoulder comes down halfway. So box stop Murray here. Now, just to let you know, I've gotten some more information. Tim Murray is not associated to the Arthur Murray School of Dance. Wow, that's fascinating information. And, and, and absolutely no, no association with Tim Curry. No, 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 definitely not Tim Curry. Yes, no Frank and Porter jokes here. No. 
Oh, the way this is going, this could be a, a late night double feature. Picture a creature, show. A creature double feature? I think we need to call an exterminator. There's a skunk in the ring. There's a skunk in the ring. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Tim Murray. <laughs> That's because he's decided to make a unique fashion statement hair-wise. Oh, beautiful drop away. Spin the reverse crescent kick there. Shining I think, wizard. I don't think unique it? fashion Insigiri? statement is nope. uh, something to say. I look for my Japanese phrases. <laughs> and the grasshopper's hands have been stomped. He crushed his mandibles with that stomp. Wouldn't that be his jaw or his mouth? He doesn't eat with his hands. He's not a praying mantis. Standing on the grasshopper's mandibles. Gotta be very careful. Very long mandibles, if I say myself. And Moses lays a hefty <laughs> right on one grasshopper. <laughs> oh, Taylor just said he quit. I believe they call it Dutsky. <laughs> Middleton just said he quit. Does that mean they lose the championship by four? Nice snap there. Dredge it in there a little deep, deeper. Maybe you'll pop his head off. Getting that headlock on the part of one Murray. And Tim's really putting it to him, trying to... Grasshopper's trying to get to a vertical base. Switched over to a front headlock. Oh! I think he's Didn't dead. quite get him all the way over, I but it was he, effective. I think he killed the grasshopper. <laughs> I think he squished the head of the grasshopper. Squish, squish. I'm telling you. Yeah, hell of a body bag to put that in. <laughs> The attempted bar, frog butt splash was missed, and one crafty grasshopper evaded the attack. But now the question is, who gets to their partner first? And now the race is on. I'll say it's the skunk. I mean, uh, Tim Thomas. Tim, I Tim have Murray. Bet on the grasshopper. Whatever his name is. <laughs> Not the mantis. Not the iguana. Up to there you go. <laughs> Middleton with an axe handle shot. The Moses, second axe handle. Dodges. Dodges again. Oh! Ray's and Luke Fez. The is playing house. Driving knee. Cross body. Second cross body. Third cross body and knee. Fifth cross body. Five cross body. Possible angina or minor heart attack. I could swear both members of the epidemic are doing this together. I think Middleton's out of gas. I think in the world of explosives, he's blown up. Grasshopper's in. Top and knee drop. Close line. Beautiful zip. And you are a winner. They actually retained. The infestation. Bob Billings in again. Along with the giant They make a great six man tag. Alternating, kind of like the new day. He wants to hold the belt. He wants to hold the belt. Give the old man a thrill. <laughs> I think this is the most exciting moment of his entire life. He's running off with the belt. He's running off with the belt. The grasshopper has taken leave. He's hopped off with the belt. That's the smartest movie ever made. Middleton's running out there. Oh my God, what's going to happen next?
Collins. This man just loves giving pain. He loves inflicting pain on his opponent. There are many times he's not interested in a win. He's not interested in a, in a mark in the win column. He's just interested in inflicting as much physical damage upon his opponent in the course of any given match. Ralph, I hope you the last one. He, gives last he, gives, he beats his opponents yeah. leaving the ring. If I were a sixth opponent, I would think about staying home. Six just went over the top rope. The turnbuckle broke, and he's going to keep fighting. And the on. scary part is, after he got up from an incredible fall that would have broken most people's necks, he smiled. He thought it was enjoyable. It was like a ride at the amusement park for Evan Six. He unbuckles the whole top rope, and now these two men are going to fight on two ropes instead of three. You know, wrestle on their knees. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen many wrestlers, especially in today's world, working off the top rope and working off the bottom, the second rope. So who knows what's going to happen here. Well, there goes any high spots. I beg to differ. You know, this is when you really have to show your foundation. Well, not just creativity, but your foundation in professional wrestling. You know, can you wrestle? Because so many people depend on the Irish whip, so many people depend on that. Can you wrestle a quality match? Can you use your wrist locks, your arm bars, your throws, your takedowns, your submissions, without having to depend on that top rope to, to come off to add that power? And this is where this is where we're really going to see the quality of two professional wrestlers and their ability to wrestle. So many people to up three ropes. <laughs> and again, they still can do it. They can still grab the middle rope. They haven't break the hold, but well, between the two of them, even with the referee, they, you have at least. Years of experience, and, and there you can see a match out of anything. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Everyone's poking him right in the eyes. He doesn't care. Doesn't care about the wind. Doesn't care about the ropes. You know what he cares about? Causing and inflicting intense physical pain to his opponent. That's what it's all about for him. That's what puts a smile on his face. And uh, the devious smile it is. There it is again. Do you know what else smiles before it attacks someone? A great white shark. It smiles before it bites into you. Eventually, Evan, Evan's not going to be eating him. He's just going to throw away the pieces. One piece at a time. He wants to tear Devin Baker apart. Devin is very strong. Ability laying a series of shots on the head of one Evan Six. It's the only match where I know both competitors could get rope burns on their, on their backside. I wonder if there's a whole people open at this time. Thankfully there is. We send members out to it right now. Get him off the top rope, man! He's not on the rope, he's on the turnbuckle. He's not on the turnbuckle, he's on the post. No! 
and a driving atomic knee on the part of one Evan Six to Devin Baker. Driving knee into the face. Like I said, he just loves to inflict pain. Front chin lock on the part of Evan Six. Again, he wants to compress that cervical vertebrae. He wants to make Devin's Baker pay. Pay in spades. There's so many ways that Evan Six could dismantle Devin Baker right now. He's already done it three times before. Well, Devin back with a series of elbows to the abdomen. What a reverse slam once again by Evan Six. Like I said. What power! He loves being in control, loves being in command. And again, that devious smile, man, it's just it's frightening. Grinding and again, utilizing that cobra clutch, utilizing that chin lock, compressing the cervical vertebrae. Devin attempting to get up to a vertical base, counter the attack. Vicious form on the part of six. Oh no, here it comes. Oh no, he's getting wound up now. Oh yes, the bake up boy. No, oh! there's a flashback from the past. Big boot. I see you off the top of our ropes. Straight drop. You don't think he's going to get him when he only hits the middle rope, do you? Could be. <laughs> Come on, Evan. Stop playing with him. Oops, I'm sorry. That was my managerial spirit. I'm a, I'm a fine broadcast journalist. I resemble that remark. Hook up. Pick up. Oh. Six out of it. Side oh. Nice reversal by the big man. Oh. Oh. Reversal hook double up. Oh. Incredible oh. reversal and win on the part of one, Devin Baker. I saw him holding tight. I saw Devin Baker holding tight. A violent, devastating attack upon Devin Baker. A blatant choke by Six, strangling him, choking him. He's not giving up, he's not yielding. And now it's hearing the blows once again to the end of it. And again, another referee diving into the ring to make the save. Trying to pull Six off, it's not happening. The same referee in the ring. He's still putting the five fist and pounding his head. Like it's gonna help. <laughs> you need a few more guys to get him out of the ring. <laughs> you don't have enough. Oh my god, an incredible violent budget. Part of six to referee. He could have been more seriously hurt if there was a top rope. You see Rick the double, double. I don't think he takes to losing very well. I don't think it happens that often. Just a hunch. And again, that vicious smile. That vicious smile. That was the same smile he learned when he was taking milk money from kids. That was last week. He was beating up the milk man. It was like... A man, man who shows no fear, <laughs> a man who loves pain, he lives for the sheer joy Very of violence. Very nicely done. That's Evan Six. Yeah, of course he feels better now. Get out of here. <laughs> 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 